Okay, so let's just uh, make sure everything is coming in all right here. All right, so we're in. Okay. Okay, so the way um, I'm thinking of going about this, um, first I'm gonna set up uh, the gain here and then we're gonna start going through all the effects. Um, so, I think to start off, we wanna go to the clean app, and this is the default patch, by the way, so everything is like straight up and, um, you know, everything's just uh, standard. Uh, let's just see how that sounds just right out of the box. and round sounding I guess um, just gonna cut out the time effects for now also we don't need the pre we're just gonna work with the amp and cap so let's just go again it's very fat and nice and round sounding we'll just go to the mic section Okay, so usually I like to have a good mix of the the 57 and the 121. And let's just see how that the 121 sounds. Very boomy. So we're gonna give it a bit of distance away from. Sounds a bit too strong on the mids, so just back it off a little bit. One important thing to note, and actually the bright switch is always nice to have. And then we'll turn the presence down a little bit, triple down a little bit. You get that nice spank out of the, the mid. Very 
nice. Um, I guess we'll. Uh, so what we want to make sure is we're not that we're not um, distorting the amp. You know, we're staying clean because uh, I found. I mean, I guess for this purpose it won't be too bad, but I found you know obviously if you vary the gain going into the interface, then uh, you're gonna get more or less uh, drive. So just uh, want to make sure that we're not breaking up before we go in. Uh, to uh, the the rest of the system, so it's breaking up a little bit there. So we'll just pull the game back a little bit, and then just boost the master. We have a nice neutral sounding tone to start off with in the app. Um, and I'm just gonna move over to the, uh, well, I guess we could just go in the order of the uh, signal. So we'll start with the compressor. So let's, let's see what we got here. So it's straight, uh, just um, both at 12 o'clock at the mid for the switch. So you can hear a lot of the low mids getting pushed out. So I think for, in terms of volume, the unit gain was around here. Yeah, so it sounds about the same, okay. So you can see the compressor really uh, rounds out that all the notes. You can start playing around the blend knob as well, let's see. So that's a heavy blend. Pressing too much for my level. Bit too much. Or if, especially if I don't have a secondary drive, is to use it sort of like a, a boost of sorts. So um, I usually up the, the the volume a little bit after, so we get a, a small volume boost. <laughs> Humbucker sounds really useful. They're not really like popping out or really boomy. You can really push the humbucker sound. Um, you know what? It's on the low setting actually instead of the mid. Oh, I could turn it up to mid. You can see what it sounds like. And the 
high setting. Sort of hear like the the boominess coming. That's where I'll stop with the compressor. Now for the uh, pathos. So you can immediately tell that like the unity gain is not here. Um, let's just... And I'm on the uh, edge voicing right now. And this is the smooth. You can hear it's really mid heavy, but uh, let's just turn up the gain. Because this obviously isn't going to be enough to. Chalky, uh, maybe turn down the bass a little bit. It sounds a bit too fat. And maybe give it a bit more. You can hear like the springs vibrating. for and I know that the Nova delay can do a lot more than what I'm looking for right now but all I'm looking for is just some delay to back me up during leads so, so I need something that's going to be sort of working with me in uh, so I have a bunch of options here but let's go with delay line okay and usually I want about two or three repeats I usually turn this down and tone all the way down.
mix down a bit more and have more feedback. Let's see. And with gain. have to use this but it's nice to have sometimes so I'm just gonna try the chorus pedal as well it's a really great pedal for the sound it's such a great sound subtly it gives like a nice uh, it gives a nice ring to the lead here <laughs>
do it with a bit less gain. Reverb here. Uh, so reverb. So I don't want it to be too wet. I just want to give it uh, because it's going to be mono anyway, the way it's being here. So I just want to give it a little bit of stereo feel. So here it is. It's way too long. Still too long. And then Bring down the dry wet. Just gives it a feeling of space. it I'll save this patch and then I guess uh, we'll get rolling for the actual take <laughs> 